What is going on YouTube and welcome to another episode of Crypto Crusaders where we dominate crypto one coin at a time. Before getting started, we'd like to ask please smash that like button, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Helps me make these videos for you guys and find this news coin. Furthermore, try it at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. So if you are a bonfire holder today, we have some great news. If you're still a long-term holder of Diamond Hansen's project, we have some updates. So if you didn't know, on July 8th, 2021, they really say update on YouTube. You can find it on their official YouTube channel. Um, and we're going to be going over these updates. So King Rachel, who is now a core team member, uh, ended up making a recap on Discord. You could go on your own time onto the official Discord and read it out. But here are some key pointers so it says we're here we are discussing the development and possible solutions to our ownership being renounced with blockchain consulting companies which is good you want a renounced contract so that it cannot be tampered with and as far as i know the liquidity in the decentralized exchanges cannot be tampered with as of this moment they introduced new core team members, Rob, James, and Rachel. And the reason behind that is because three previous core members left the team, and that opened spots. So James is a uh, software engineer, I believe. Rob is a entrepreneur, has a lot of experience in the marketing phase. And if you are not on Discord, Rachel is very... Uh, involved with the community she updates discord etc furthermore they talked about how the former ceo had to step down due to unforeseeable health issues which is unfortunate however they are transparent that he had to step down um they said you could go check out his wallet showing that he's not really doing anything with the wallet he's still a obviously a long-term believer of this project and he won't do anything crazy it says where right, he hasn't moved any tokens, and you could check out his wallet on BC Scan. So the new CEO is Andrew Cunningham. So if you haven't seen him, you can find him on the project updates on YouTube. He talks about in depth and surface level of the projects update, the project updates that are going on. Jai Shell still remains the one of the founders, project coordinator, and spokesperson. They talked about how they will be funding aspects of the project moving forward. On top of that, there will be an update to the white paper and roadmap to, to reflect the project. They introduced the beginning of the ecosystem, which can be found on bonfire.io.is. And we're going to go to that later. So basically, this will be the hub of the entire ecosystem for Bonfire. So they have created it using their own engineers on AWS Cognito. So, correct me if I'm wrong, I think AWS stands for Amazon Web Services, um, but that's cool. So, they have complete control over their own ecosystem. So, they originally planned on bringing it to Q3 or Q4, but found it necessary to support Phase 2 of the, of the Firestarter beta. So, they talked about a little bit about the Firestarter, where you're able to invest in early projects. There's a vetting process where they get screened, the community asks questions to see if they're not lying. And this is pretty much a game changer. I mean, there have been many scams and rug pulls out there now you can really do your own research at the end of the day and really dig into these newer tokens however it's still pretty hard at times to tell whether or not future tokens are rug pulls or not and this provides a platform where people can invest in your projects without any fear of losing their investment and what's cool about it is you will be able to participate in a pre-sale of that token. So Andrew did a walkthrough of the ecosystem for Firestar Beta 1. And currently they're testing the app. And that's pretty much what the update was about. Now going on to uh, their ecosystem. I already signed up. Um, and yes, my name is Jeff. Now you could sign up going to bonfire.is, signing up with your original email on the Bonfire Starter. If you already reserved a seat for the app, uh, you should use your the same 
the same email and you'll be able to get access to the entire ecosystem now going through the ecosystem pretty cool animation here it talks about who is kindling industries read it on your own time shows what bonfire is the social the fire starter and the leadership so this is andrew jai show and as well eli and jason you can get in touch moving forward so this brings you to different parts of the page so now going on to roadmap this is the current roadmap uh, according to april 29th 2021 and we're currently in q2 there is still a lot to go before this really starts taking off if you're a long-term believer in this project now checking the current price we are sitting at 0.123456767 satoshi units 6011 currently down 1.5 percent and it's trading sideways not much not much is happening but if you compare Bonfire to something like Ethereum or Bitcoin, you could see that crypto in general all follows generally follows Bitcoin dominance. So if Bitcoin is going down, other tokens within the ecosystem or similar tend to do bad as well. And that's a good integrator to tell whether there is FUD being spread around or something is up within the crypto market. When bon when Bonfire peaked. Bitcoin peaked, Ethereum peaked, and other cryptos as well. So overall, let me know what your thoughts on the project are. Are you still a holder of this project? Are you still one of the people who will be sitting around the bonfire? Let me know if I missed anything in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.